as a quick aside let's talk antenna insulators for just a minute here all right i have several different choices this is a umhw and uh, pulley that was old and wore out from some machinery um, this is what's called a dog bone insulator well, that's also made of umhw this is a standard what they call an egg insulator and uh, this is just a ceramic and plastic insulator oftentimes you get this uh, you got you get this and you also get this as part of the shortwave listening kit that Radio Shack used to sell I don't think they sell it anymore maybe they started selling it again but I don't think they do but um, you used to be able to get this kind of together along with some wire as part of a shortwave listening kit oh and let's not forget about this joker here this is one of my favorite antenna insulators this is a um, a uh, BDU button and you notice I busted the middle out so that I could fit a bigger wire through there if I wanted to a lot of times though um, I don't need that uh, bigger hole so I might just either file the hole out a little bit or I will um, not worry about it at all depending on the size of the wire I'm using so I wanted to give you that to talk about how we're going to get this line to attach to this antenna wire okay we want to make a non-permanent attachment, but we want it to be strong. Now these are very good for making permanent attachments on the ends or in the middle. The wire, basically your antenna wire goes in one side and your uh, support line goes in the other. There's no contact between the two and so there's no what they call end losses as a result. Because it's non-permanent, I want to make something that I can uh, get easily on and off. In other words, I'm going to use either this or I'm going to use this. Now if I want to be frugal and I want a more permanent solution, I'm more apt to use the old pulley here. What I would do is I would run the antenna like this and then I'd run my line through there and once again the antenna and the line don't touch each other and there's some freedom of motion along the wire. So I might use this in a position where I want the wire to be able to sway in the tree a little bit or something like that. This egg insulator makes more of a, a hard point uh, type connection. It's going to be harder for that antenna line to, to slip in and out. And in this situation, I believe it's going to be the right choice. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach this right here. And I'm going to take my weight off and I'll show you in just a second how that all works and uh, for a time check the time is uh, uh, 20 25 Zulu time